Hi, my name is Vicki and today I'm going to walk you through the new overlay mode in Cinemagraph Pro for iOS. We're so happy to announce that you can now add images and text on top of your Cinemagraphs in-app, making it easier than ever before to incorporate branding and creative effects. So let's get started. If this is your first time using Cinemagraph Pro, go to the tutorial section to learn how to navigate the app and start creating Cinemagraphs. You can download the documents used in the Getting Started, Intermediate, and Advanced tutorials to follow along and practice what you learn. Here I have a Cinemagraph created by the very talented Thomas Brand that I want to turn into an ad for Cinemagraph Pro. To enter overlay mode, tap on the layer icon in the Cinemagraph Pro toolbar in between the transform icon and brush and eraser tools. To add an overlay, tap on the add icon and select which type of overlay you want to insert. I'm going to start with the Cinemagraph Pro logo type, which is saved in my camera roll. Editing and managing overlays will take place on the canvas, object list, and inspector located on the right. I'll get into more detail of where each action can be performed as we go through the editing process. The Cinemagraph Pro logo type is looking too small, so I'm going to select it on the canvas and drag the grabbers around it outwards. As you can see, if I drag it slowly, I can snap to alignment guides that'll help me center my logo. Now I want to add a line of text below the logo that says, Create imagery that gets noticed. I'm going to tap on the Add icon and select Insert Text and double tap to start typing. The text is too big, so I'm going to decrease the size in the inspector right away, and then position it underneath the logo type. I want to use a font that matches the logo type, so I'm going to browse fonts in the inspector. There we go. In the inspector, I can also change the color, style, and alignment. This looks good to me, but the white logo type and text isn't jumping out against the background quite as much as I'd like it to. So what I did was create a gradient background that I airdropped to my iPad to place underneath, just to make it pop a little more. When I insert a new overlay, it'll automatically be placed at the top of my stack order, over top of my other layers. I want the gradient to go behind the other layers, so I'm going to go into the object list and touch and hold the gradient to drag it to the bottom of the list. Now that my layers are in the correct order, I'm going to resize the gradient to fit the width of the cinemagraph. By default, the image's original aspect ratio will be preserved, which is not what I want in this scenario, so I'm going to go to the inspector and tap to unlock the aspect ratio. Now I can change the scale of my gradient so it's the exact size I want it to be. Perfect. Now I want to add Thomas's username to the bottom corner of the cinemagraph so everybody who sees the ad will know who created it and where they can find more of his work. What I'm going to do is add another gradient background like I did at the top to make the text stand out and tie everything together. I know that the second gradient layer should be before Thomas's name in the stack order, so I'm going to add that first. Instead of inserting a new image, I can tap on the first gradient to duplicate it. Now I can either rotate the gradient or flip it vertically so the darker area is on the bottom. I'm going to undo the flip vertical transformation by tapping on the undo icon and show you how to rotate objects on the canvas. Touch and hold the object using two fingers and rotate clockwise or counterclockwise on the canvas. You can also rotate using the steppers in the inspector. Now I'm going to insert a new text object on top of the gradient to finish the ad. If I don't want the artist attribution to stand out quite as much as it is, I can lower the opacity in the inspector. I haven't made any adjustments to Thomas's cinemagraph in the main editor, but if I had and wanted those adjustments to be applied to the overlay, I can simply check Apply Adjustments. By default, any adjustments made in the main editor will not be applied to overlays. Let's say I want to export two versions of the ad to get feedback from the rest of my team. I can easily go into the object list and tap on the eye icon to hide selected layers, allowing me to export multiple variations. 
So now the Cinemagraph Pro ad is ready and I'm going to exit overlay mode. Because I'll be uploading the ad to Facebook Ads Manager, I'm going to select the Facebook ad preset to apply the best settings. Now I can share it in-app to Facebook Ads Manager. Remember to upload your cinemagraphs as public for a chance to be featured in our galleries and social networks. We're always so amazed by the talent and creativity of the Flexil community and can't wait to see how these new features will help you in your visual storytelling. Thanks for watching. Thank you.